do you feel in some of the approach of Black Lives Matter that it's excluding other voices that might be different in some way? You might agree with the existence of racism, but you might have a different approach about how to tackle it or how to respond to it. Just speaking from a police officer's perspective, I still worry about how it's going to be perceived or received. Mm -hmm. um, what will the comments be? Will it be that I'm being dismissive or I'm not black enough when in actuality, I'm just trying to be genuine and speak my own truth um, and speak on the experiences that I've had. Mm -hmm. So, and I think Marion hit the nail on the head when she said, we've never really escaped the boys, boys in the hood, correct? Yeah. The scene in Boys in the Hood, that's the idea that you get when you see a Black police officer. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, that's not the case. The vast majority of police officers go to work every day to do a good thing. I don't, I don't know any police officers that go to work wanting to kill someone or to do harm or misconduct. Like that's career suicide. You're setting your, sim, your family up for ruins. Who wants to go to work and do something and then you get sued and all your finances are tied up in litigation. Your life is ruined. What are you going to do when you lose your job? What, what other career are you going to go into? Everyone's going to know who you are. So it's just, I don't know. I think in general, we overgeneralize. I think we clump people up and that could be races, professions, whatever the case may be. And I think we tend to focus on our differences more so than our similarities. And that's where the downfall lies, mm -hmm. that we're, we have more in common than, than we have that's different. And mm -hmm. if we would focus on those things, I think the world would be a much better place. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Preach, Mr. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to clap for that, actually. Yeah, amen. <laughs> <Preach. laughs> <laughs> like it's oh so true i mean you know susan brought up feeling like a karen i mean i don't know what other labels you all feel like i noticed susan said that yes she did wow. that. and let me just so marcus talked about this. being a being a police officer susan you say yes. you know being a karen being a karen baron what's yours what's yours being a laquisha <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> tell us i don't know what a laquisha is you have to inform no, me educate educate <laughs> educate me <laughs> No, um, I will say being an angry black woman. I mean, that that is something that I'm very mindful of, mm. um, you know, goes back to, you know, many remember when Michelle Obama was accused of being that, you know, et cetera, where many times, you know, just expressing yourself with passion um, or anything that can be misinterpreted as being angry. Um, I do fear that there is this perception that black women are angry or black people hate white people. Um, and we just, you know, don't admit it. That um, isn't true, so, but I am very careful of how I express myself. And, and I'll say it's it's in all of my interactions, like even at work and things like that. Like there are times that instead of saying something in person, I know Landon, this gets to your 135 characters piece, but sometimes instead of saying something in person, I write it in an email, like not only kind of cover myself for that I said this, but I'm like, if I deliver this in my tone, I'm going to be the angry black woman. And that is going to take this a place that I don't want to go. So let me just take that piece off of it. <laughs> take the heat off of it a little bit and like write it in an email. Yeah. Um, so I can be very, very mindful of that. So I do fear being the angry black woman. Mm. Land, did you have one? Oh, I'm a, I'm a white male, guys. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, no, it's I don't I don't pretend to be a victim, I, but yeah, but I'm very cognizant yeah. of, of um, you know how I'm perceived, and and you know I don't have really complaints about it because um, I understand it. Mm. The other, but I do hope that people um, will treat me as a as an individual, you know, as much as possible. <laughs> to watch the rest of that episode, go ahead and click the video below me. To see a different compelling Healing Race episode, you can click the video below me. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.